Today, we take a look at things from a roleplay perspective. When we first came to this area, we took shelter in the town. They harbored us, fed us, and gave us some refuge until we could find the place that we would call home. After that, we were able to build our amazing Arctic Fortress. From a roleplay perspective, the workers who worked on the fortress would have brought those wages back to the town. It's only logical that as the castle grows, the town that built it would grow as well. So, today we return to the town that sort of gave us home to pay them back for everything that the villagers did for us. The town in question is a combined biome of a spruce village and a swamp village, sort of. It's all a spruce village, really, but it's half spruce, half swamp biome and some of the villagers are swamp villagers. This will be a challenge, but we owe it to the town, so let's hop to it.
this in my bed. Chicksick, I told you to stay out of my bed. Erg. Well, guys, the build is done. Let's take a walk and take a look. So the challenge I set for myself in upgrading this spruce and swamp village was to try to keep it as vanilla as possible. So in other words, what I mean, oh no, let's cut that out in editing. In other words, I'm trying not to remove any of the existing structures or add any structures. So I'm taking the whole blueprint of the village and trying to keep that blueprint the same. So it looks like a vanilla village because it is. We've just made improvements. So we've made improvements to the houses. We've made improvements to the tool areas where the villager works. The only structure that we uh, removed was the well with the bell on top of it because that's just going to cause villagers, you know, to get stuck in the well. So we replaced that with, you know, a water inspired. There's the bell. It's a water inspired uh, town center. This is kind of like an agora, an imme a meeting place where everybody does the talking and the villagers do congregate here because of the bell. And along with that theme, we have these roots here for like, uh, you know, some vines going bad or the trees rooting. And I kind of just kind of ran with that creatively and kind of, I don't know, I don't know how you would build with like living logs, but that's kind of what we're going with here. Over here, we also did, uh, some nice realistic medieval villages in the medieval era. Almost everybody had a pig in the backyard, you know, because you could feed it all the scraps and then you would you would get you would get bacon, which was peasant food back in the day. Those are also these two villagers. Those are two I named them after two friends of mine. Let me come see. <clears throat> there we go. There's Basimby and Ulta Raiden. You're welcome, guys. So they're here fishing together in the little fishing boat. And uh you know, little improvements to the houses and things. Overall, I think it looks really good. It looks vanilla. You walk through, you can tell it's a vanilla village. It just looks much nicer. Um, also, we uh, named most of the villagers. So here we have Warviv the Butcher. We've got, uh, what do we have over here? Jane Farstrider, Cedric the Leather Worker. That guy doesn't have a name. We'll call him No Name. Uh, what? Where's the? Where's the two weaponsmiths? Where'd they go? I like those guys. Okay, we can't. We can't end the episode until we find the two weaponsmiths, you guys. Hmm. Hmm. No. Oh, yeah. Nope. I really love this thing. This thing's the best part of the whole build. But where are they? Broomhilda. Harathar. Eight of the farmer again. You, ha you don't have a name. Young Thatcher. Where'd my weaponsmiths go? They better not have, like, died while I wasn't looking. Oh, oh dear. Are you in here? Are you hiding? No. Hmm. Well, well, okay, this is troubling. Are you over here? In the cottage at the edge of the town? No, you are not. Are you in the beach area? Here you are! Oh, thank goodness. Okay. <clears throat> now, now we can end the episode. So, the build was good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We can now end it in peace. Where are you guys? Because Wolgrim and Echigal, that's the name of Beowulf's father in the Epic of Beowulf. They're okay. Let's, let's just... You guys are stuck. You're too fat. You're too fat for the doorway. Out you go. Out you go. Back to work. Come on. Echigao, you're not that old. There we go, there we go. Okay. Oh no! He changed! You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Where's Rolgrim? Is he okay? Alright, Rolgrim is okay. Echigao has decided to become a fisherman. Alright. 
All right, that's the end of the episode. Please like and subscribe, comment and share. Don't forget to thank Seal for me for her edit and tell LPT that he is handsome. Thanks for watching.